interesting. Oh yeah, no. Oh, absolutely, man. Th this is actually a really famous pump. How you can handle fertilizer. Yep, you can fertilize it. So if you Google Sable Rosy Eye, it'll come up on Google Images. This will pop up. If you go Sable Rosy, this will pop up. Oh, you'll see it on there. And videos will pop up too. Where did they uh, In the south somewhere. Could be in the Caribbean, could be Mexico, somewhere way south anyway. Oh, somewhere but it probably gets heat. Heat. Well, that's why it grows so slow up here, right? Yeah. You know, so to me, I think that heats up. Those rocks probably heat. Oh, no doubt. And then, you know, it's pretty close to the building. Well, even that Daphne over there, you can tell it's getting heat scorched. Yeah. Oh, were you working here when it was that hot in June? Were you here? No, it yeah. September. It was hot in June, man. This guy loved it. Yeah. And I don't know what else got burnt in here, but we got a lot of stuff burnt in our garden. How about your garden? Burnt? Rhododendrons. Oh, yeah. Camellias. Uh, How about camellias? The, the camellias didn't get burned, but the bottle brushes did. Really? Yeah, all the leaves are brown. From Except for one. We have this one that's called... Uh, it's called, oh no, Calistemon got burned. The Grevillea can bear gem gets burned almost every year where we are. It does? Yeah. You're in a hot spot. It's warm, yeah. You're up on south, yeah, I, I know where you are. I'm sorry, it got burned by the frost. Oh yeah, so December, but but yes. not the heat in June. Not the heat, no. No, no I have a, I actually have a crepe myrtle on the south wall of my house. And last year's the first year it actually completed its moon cycle. Crepe myrtle. Early. You know crepe myrtle, Legos, Legostromia indica, is that what it is? Yeah. Not a lot of people grow that here. So you know Jeff at the plant farm? He has a 25-foot one behind, beside his house. Oh, it's be been there for years. It's a tree, right? But it bloom for him? It blooms for him. Okay. And beside it, he's got a big persimmon tree. But you don't usually see, even though they're hardy, you don't see a lot of them growing here. In front of Lady Minto, there's two of them growing right by the yes. front entrance, you know, but it's kind of shaded in there. Someone in that group, Landscape Horticulturalists, um, saw one in Stanley Park last year and photographed it and it was blooming. It was blooming in Stanley Park, a crepe myrtle. Park, yeah. That's a southern plant. Like they grow them lots in the south, right? As far as I understand, they come from the, the foothills of Nepal where it gets really hot in the summer. So they can take the cold, yeah. but they also like heat, right? Yes. Kind of like this guy. So does yours bloom? Mine, mine, I had mine for seven years at my old place up on Hillcrest. Yeah, yeah. It bloomed once. No. They would start forming the buzz and the frost would get them. Oh, so when I moved it, yeah, I yeah. put it on the south facing wall of my house and there's no obstructions, full sun. And, and it, it bloomed? bloomed? Every year, except for one year, it started to bloom and it was, it was cold summer, so it started blooming. Oh, man. I gotta get one of those things. You know what used to be in there? It was a Rapilostylus. No, it wasn't a Rapilostylus, it was uh, Indian Hawthorn. The Indian Do you know what an Indian It's evergreen. And it grows into a tree and it actually blooms. There used to be one there, but the oh, other Rapulepsis. gardener, Rapulepis indica, and she ripped it out. It was a beautiful one. I almost got one for this garden. Oh, they're nice. It bloomed every year. Pinkish, kind of reddish flowers. Yeah, and they don't need a lot of heat. No, and it's evergreen, Lex. Yeah. If you could find one. I mean, she had one there, but she replaced it with something else. Yeah, those plants had some in five-gallon pots, and I almost bought one, but... Some of them are hard to find, but it is fully hardy here. I know that. Ours has never been flinched by the cold. They all got damaged in 2008 in Vancouver, some right to the ground. See, Vancouver, but ours yeah. is totally fine. Yeah. See, in, in Vancouver, I know the camera ops palms got damaged too. Here, they look good, right? Yeah. Hi. How are you doing? Good. I'm just admiring this. Oh. I always admire I've been admiring it for 25 years. Oh, are you banana joke? I'm banana. That's oh. what they call me. I could be called worse things. <laughs> <laughs> they, they could say, hey, are you that a-hole? No, I'm not. I'm banana joke. <laughs> so you think we're on the right track? Oh, it looks absolutely amazing. I've had people ask about this thing. How is the palm doing? And, well, look at it. It looks pretty good, yeah. doesn't it? Because that's actually, this far north, that's a pretty rare palm tree. Mm -hmm.